Everybody ready? Yeah! Okay. Now, if you if you listen to Mr. Frank, wherever he was when he did the announcements, he told you that this half, and you guys are going to love it up. This, this half time, we're doing fire. Okay. Okay? So, this is one you don't try at home, okay? We try it. Why No, you don't try it. Home. So, we, we don't play with fire. You let me play with the fire, and then you don't get it, right? No, I, I do it. Okay, so... No, no playing with fire. This one's a just your demonstration. Okay? Now, what color is fire? Orange is red. Orange is red. What about, what about if you go see fireworks? What color are those? Okay, any color. Well, how about fireworks? What color would you think fire is yellow? Here's why. Because fire can be any color. It depends on what's burning in the fire as to what the color of it is. So when you see fireworks, it's because they put all kinds of different metal compounds in the fireworks to make it burn different colors. So what we're going to do today is we're going to look at some fire. So, Macy has yes, you have a fire. question already? Okay, good. Okay. But if you burn it something different, it changes color too. If you're eating dinner, and your food doesn't taste good. You might put something on your food to make it taste better. Seasoning salt. Okay. What I have right here is a little bit of alcohol to make it burn and table salt in this sprayer. Let me talk first. Okay. I'll come to you in a minute. Okay. So this is, who knows what metal is in table salt? Sodium. That's correct, actually. Sodium is the metal. So we're going to see what color sodium burns here. Okay, you ready? What color is it? It's hot. Yeah, it's hot. You should be right here. Orange is yellowish. Okay, orange is yellowish, because that's what color table salt is. So when sodium burns, it burns that yellowish, orange kind of color. Now, if you are, if you, if you have high blood pressure, your doctor might say, don't eat regular table salt because the sodium is bad for you. And instead, they give you fake salt. And in fake salt, there's not sodium, there is potassium. So what I have here is potassium salt. Okay, and we're gonna see if it burns different, okay? Now pay attention to see what color this does. Ready? No, it's like a peach color. There's a little bit of pink in there, right? There's a little bit of lavender inside it. Not pretty cool? Yeah. Do you still have a question? What's your question? No, you cannot put your face in front of the flame. Would you like to see a better one? Sometimes, you're, people get in the car accident, they put road flares out, those burn red, because they have a chemical called strontium in them. Okay, the metal is strontium. This is strontium. Okay, it's kind of red, right? Now, why did I bring this today to show you? Not to play with fire. Not to play with fire. Tell you not to play with fire. Why? What, what do you think? No, so I can play with fire because I like fire. about the Bible story when Noah talked about the burning bush? Okay, we could have talked. We could have talked about Noah talking to God through the burning bush with all different colors. But this is why I brought it because all those different metals burn different colors, and that's how we get all the colors in fireworks and things like that. Because all the different metals, God's assigned them different jobs to do. So this one burns red. This one burns yellow. Right? That's just like you guys. So when you play basketball, somebody might be really good at shooting the ball. So we pass the ball to them so they can make the basket. Somebody might be really good at dribbling the ball. We let them bring the ball up the court. Someone might be really good at jumping up and getting the rebound. We let them get the rebound. We all have different jobs to do because God's given us all different abilities. So what we should do is find out what our abilities are and do those jobs. The same thing's true in life. Some people are really good at math. Some people are really good at talking. Some people are really good at science. You find out what you're good at because God's given you all these abilities and then you use those for God. That's how we live a successful life. That's what God wants us to do. Because God's given us all gifts to use for Him. But they're not all the same. Some are different. So like strontium burns red, instead if we had a different metal, like boron, boron sounds boring, but I don't think it's boring. How about that? That's really good. Okay, my personal favorite though is lithium. This is lithium. 
I think this is because whenever basketball players come in, this happens. Going on, right? That's what you just do when they come out. Right, when they come out. So, just like all the medals have the same medals, right? Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. 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 All the medals have different jobs and the different colors they make. God assigned those to them. We all have different jobs too. Because God's given us all different abilities. So what you need to do is find out what you're good at, what God's made you good at, and then do that for Him. Alright? Let's get ready for the second half.